with nine days to go. We continue our coverage of the Beavers with the offensive line, which brings back a lot of experience. The offensive line is probably where the Bemidji State football team has the most experience. The Beavers returned four out of five starters from last year, and it will be a big key in the success of the offense. Coach Tesh always says that with the offensive line, the biggest thing is experience, and the fact that we've got four out of the five guys back, and those guys even started years before that too, so that's a really big help for us. I think it's a huge factor. Uh, we just need to know where we're going to be, where when we're supposed to be there, and like, just protection wise. The offensive line looks to pave the way for the offense, especially on the ground. The Beavers averaged more than 187 rushing yards per game last year, which included a 200 yard game by Dustin Cropland against Northern State. Cropland has been a kind of a bruiser back and takes like three, four people to tackle him, it seems like. And our offensive line is big, strong, and fast. You ask any offensive lineman, they love to run block. And we, I, I feel like we do that very well. We like to, we get off the ball and we, we like to hit people, so it's it's a lot more fun than pass blocking. The left side of the offensive line will be a big strength for the Beavers with preseason All-America center Corey Immerman leading the way, alongside guard Brett DeLang and left tackle Davis Mickelson. That center to left side is where you got to be good. It's the quarterback's blind side, and they're very dependable back there. The biggest battle on the right side of the offensive line is at the tackle position between junior Alonzo Melton, who's been the starter the last two years, and sophomore Jordan Oyen, who's a Clearbrook native. Right now, Oyen has been taking most of the reps with the first team. He's a little bit better run blocker than we've had, and uh, we like that part of things. Uh, he's working on his pass blocking. Um, he's still learning in there, but he just gives us a little bit better speed and a run blocker. I had a kind of an injury-free spring, so I've, I've been able to get more reps and uh, get a lot more time in the weight room than usual. I just think about trying to be fundamentally sound and just do my best and not let my teammates down. The Beavers averaged more than 25 points a game last year, and the offensive line is hoping its protection will add even more this year. And Dennis, we'll see what happens with that right tackle position. Uh, yeah, big battle. So, so they got a good battle going on That's there. Okay, right. thanks, Josh. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.